Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to have a discussion about Elden Ring's meta, as well as showcase the Elden Ring build planning website. Now the build planning website has many advantages over the build planner I personally use. One of them being that it's a website, you can just go to it without needing to create a Google Sheet and having a Google account and having a base copy of that sheet that someone made. It also can be more detailed, but I feel like the UI is clunky and the information it provides is harder to analyze compared to the Google Sheet where it's all right in front of you on one page. And going to the stats page, we can also take a look at just everything that's on there. The most used weapons, Dash of Wars, Rune Levels. And something I want to point out for the weapons is Clean Art Knight Sword, Lance, Pike, Starfist. Those are all meta weapons, and they are the most used weapons. Now, there are some other weapons on there that are more centered towards invasions, such as the Stormhawk's Axe, the Godson Stitcher, Moonvale, Claymore, Nox Flowing Hammer, which aren't as good in duels, but they are still good in invasions. So even if you had no idea what meta was, you could look at this list and say, okay, these are the most used weapons, that means they're probably good. And you would be correct, just depending on which use case you're using, it's obviously going to be a little bit different. Now I do have my own personal tier list that's in my Discord and in several other discords that I'll put on screen now, and that also includes some Ash of Wars. Which, if we take a look at the top Ash of Wars, yeah, like the top five Ash of Wars are ones that I have on my list as being really good. Some other ones, such as Real Knights Resolve and the Parries are more for invasions these days, since Real Knights Resolve was nerfed, it's not as good in duels. Something like Impaling Thrust is also more towards invasions while you're going to panic roll. Because you can reaction roll it in duels, but in invasions, it's more chaotic. It allows you more chances to punish mistakes. Now for the top weapon Ash of War combinations per inventory. Obviously we have the Clean Rot Knight Sword with Bloodhound Step. That is the best combination of Ashes of War and Weapon. Misery Code with the Kick is good for countering shields, and you also get the Repost bonus from Misery Code. God's Constituent with Poisonous Mist is great on latency. Great Bow with Rain of Arrows is good for invasions. Flaming Strike on Banish on Halberd. Obviously, Banish on Halberd is very good for combos, and Flaming Strike can help augment those combos. Those combos. And Clean Art Knight Sword with Quick Step is just an honest version of Clean Art Knight Sword with Bloodhound Step. All in all, these are all great picks if you wanted to do duels and invasions. Then we have the top 10 rune levels. This is the first bit of statistical evidence that we have that most people are playing at 125. Now there's subjective evidence, of course. You have people, streamers, saying that 125 is the meta because that's where they find the most activity. Or something with Reddit saying that 150 is the meta because, well, it's Reddit, they don't know what's going on. And it's good to see that most people are building towards 125, which is the dueling meta. There's also 139, 137, and 138. Those are the invasion, quote unquote, meta. They're not really meta because meta only applies to duels, at least in the context of meta level. However, that is to snipe 125 to gain an advantage over 125 in invasions. And it's not surprising that to see that's come back from Dark Souls 3 and in Dark Souls 1. And then 150, a whopping 7% of people who use this build planner play at 150. That's not a lot, and especially compared to the near 750 builds at 125, it really goes to show that 150 is a meaningless rune level, especially when you're talking about meta. I don't know when Reddit will learn that 150 is not meta, but I guess is it's going to take a couple decades.